it's almost the end of 2019. Hi everybody, welcome back to Talk and Chalk. This is my channel where I share tips and resources for you guys because sharing is caring. If you're brand new here, welcome. The subscription button is below as well as all of my links to social media. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Twitter and Facebook, which is where I share all of these things as well as any other resources that I come across that I think will be beneficial to you guys. And in this video, I'm just going to share some of the highlights from this year that I've been able to experience with you guys. I can't always share the things that I do at school because, you know, that's student related or I can't share necessarily photos of students. I try and share resources. I try and share ideas, even if they're not my own. I don't spam. I don't take money. Uh, the channel is not monetized. This is all just to be able to benefit each other because sharing is caring and that's how we collaborate together and how we grow as educators. But this year I was able to actually meet a lot of you in person at professional learning opportunities. So different conferences, teach meets, um, you know, different afternoons where I was able to connect with you guys. Or if you have messaged me and engaged in conversation with me or jumped onto the comment threads, that's always much appreciated because I gain from you guys as much as you gain from the things that I share with you as well. So here's a really quick ream of some of the highlights that I've had this year that have made this year, you know, pretty epic for me in terms of my career and my growth and my reflection as an educator and then stay tuned to the end where I'm going to give you a bit of a sneak peek into a giveaway that I'm having next year. Holiday in Queensland with the family, Microsoft presentation on OneNote, New South Wales DOE presentation at the Teach Meet, to Future Schools in Melbourne for the inclusive education portion of Future Schools, had my first day at the Aspiring Principals program, announcements made for Edutech presentations, one note getting me to present as well had to be interviewed for the service navigator we got the alpacas at my school which was super exciting one of the best things that happened all year long for our kids and for teacher well-being as well because they're just so adorable then i actually presented at edutech really good presentation that i'm very very proud of and it was super weird to see myself up on that big screen but i scored this awesome picture which i'm very proud of also presented for microsoft on one note at their stand that was there, which I'm kind of proud to say was packed out. Everyone on their headphones listening in, which was really cool. The On Butterfly Wings conference where we got to have a little holiday in the Hunter Valley and I had my first time presenting as a keynote speaker to the entire audience, which was really cool to meet all those people that I'd seen online. As a relieving principal, I took my staff to the art gallery for a staff development day and then continued with that by painting this for our art show at school. One of my favorite things is a science and maths conference every single year. I'm part of this coordinating committee and I love presenting there. And this year I had the privilege of being part of a Q&A panel with some really amazing people. But the dinner is always the best part where we got to dress up and I had some fun with some colleagues as well. I met with Pracky and got interviewed on some techniques that I use. I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, kept plugging away at more videos as I went through. And I got to catch up with some great people like Oliver Pomervan that I used to work with when he came and visited my school, meeting with Dan Hassler to go through things at future schools, meeting with Michael McQueen as he was a keynote, Dr. Simon Brakespear working on PR with him, always wonderful Eddie Wu and I got to meet Parsi Salberg in person as well but the best thing was obviously seeing Sir Ken Robinson present at Edutech when I was there as well. Going back through that was really cool for me to be able to reflect on some of the things that I've done and forgetting how many wonderful things that I've done this year and seeing all of you in person. If I'm someone who, who met you in person and engaged with you, I love talking to you guys. So please don't ever feel shy about coming up and talking to me and saying hello. It's just me literally sitting on my bedroom floor sharing ideas. It isn't anything different than what you would share if we were sitting down and having a conversation. Obviously not together on my bedroom floor. That would be a bit weird. <laughs> anyway though, coming into 2020, if you you missed the announcement I'm really excited that next year I am in the official position of deputy principal instructional leader for my school which I'm really excited about I think that's going to give me the opportunity to engage in some really good quality professional learning I get to work with more teachers than I normally get to work with across the school and being able to connect with new people in the instructional leader networks as well so if you're an instructional leader please connect with me I really want to hear what you are doing and what works for you guys and then we can share and collaborate and continue to expand this network. Uh, I get to see Simon Sinek next year as part of my aspiring principal program. 
that's part of the the sort of the research base that I'm going through. If you've ever seen my books over here, I've got a lot of Simon Sinek books there, uh, and that comes into play as part of my leadership inquiry. And I also am going to have a giveaway. So I'd like to uh, thank all of you guys for being wonderful supporters, collaborators, um, contributors to the conversation that we're having. So I've contacted Microsoft. I've got some goodies to give away and I've also got some other things that I'm going to be bringing into it. So I'm looking at some lanyards, possibly some Kmart things as well. So stay tuned. Early 2020, I'm hoping I can do this in January, provided everything gets sent to me in time and you won't have to do anything for this. You won't have to spam my channel or anything like that. Just keep being a contributor, keep commenting, keep subscribing, keep liking, all of those things that you already do and stay tuned to my social media because that's where I will be sharing everything. So, I mean, if you're not liking or following Talk and Chalk on Facebook, that's the main place that I share everything. But I'll put up here, you know, my Instagram handle, my Twitter handle. Uh, I am on Pinterest, though. I don't really share anything on that. I just tweet away on that. And don't forget, I am now doing all of this in podcast form as well. So I'm literally ripping the audio from the videos of me sitting here on the floor and sharing that in podcast. So it's under Talk and Chalk and you can find it under Anchor. And as the podcast gets bigger and bigger, it'll automatically be shared out through um, iTunes and Spotify and whatever the other ones are. I'm not huge on podcasting. It's very new for me. So all I do is I talk into this very closely and give you an introduction and then share the stuff that I've had before. But go back, check out the older videos if you're one of the new subscribers and, um, you know, make sure you can con contribute to the conversation so that other people who are engaging can benefit from your ideas as well. I'm going to leave it with that, though, and I'm going to say a wonderful Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you have a wonderful and safe holiday. Share in some rest and relaxation. Enjoy a coffee with friends. Go get a massage. Treat yourself to something. I don't know what you want to treat yourself to, but whatever it is, go and do it. I will leave my button down here below and I will leave my most recent popular video, which is the 2020 OneNote Planner, free for you guys to download, follow the instructions, and I hope it helps you in 2020. Thanks, guys. Bye.